Today, let's talk about Ms. Lee's case of frozen shoulder and how wet cupping played a crucial role in her treatment. Before starting, we marked the designated acupoints with a marker. These points included John Jing, GB21, Bing Feng, SI12, John Yu, LI15, and Liek, LU7. We began with dry cupping at these points, adhering to a top-to-bottom sequence, an approach deeply rooted in traditional Chinese medicine principles. The meridian system considered the pathway for qi and blood flow in TCM follows specific directions. Cupping from top to bottom aligns with these natural pathways, aiding in better circulation and preventing any reverse flow that could be harmful. After two minutes, if the skin under the cups turns black or purple, it's time to remove the cups. It's important to be cautious during this process. If you feel dizzy or the skin blisters, the cups should be removed immediately. Next, we prepared for lancing. After disinfecting the skin and needle with alcohol and donning medical gloves, we lightly pierced the skin within the dry cupping marks with a lancet. The aim was to draw blood, making 10 pricks at each location. Following the same top to bottom order, we performed wet cupping for three minutes at each point. It's crucial not to leave the cups on for too long. After removing the cups, we simply wiped off the blood with a tissue. We advised Ms. Lee to keep the cupped areas dry and avoid exposure to direct air conditioning or cold winds for 12 hours post-cupping. This method significantly relieved her shoulder pain and improved her arm's range of motion. It's important to note that cupping can cause the skin to turn black and feel sore, which is normal. However, if the skin blisters or you feel dizzy during cupping, it's essential to remove the cups immediately. Certain groups like pregnant women and those recovering from a serious illness or with skin damage should be cautious with wet cupping. Pregnant women should avoid it entirely due to the risk of threatened miscarriage. After a serious illness, the body's weakened immune system makes it more susceptible to infection and additional physical burdens could be too much to bear.